A guy goes to confession and tells the priest that he committed all seven deadly sins in one day. He says, I was trying to get money together for the perfect house, and someone bought it first. I got so angry and envious that I disguised myself as the utility man and went over while he was at work. I seduced his wife, and when she was showering, I stole all the cash and jewelry I could find. Then I ate everything I could find in the pantry and napped on and off until just before he came home. The priest says, how about pride? You missed one. The guy says, nah, I'm really, really proud. Ops. A man was walking with a penguin when a police officer approached him. Where did you get this penguin from? I found it walking around, so I picked it up. Take it to the zoo immediately. As you wish, officer. The next day, the officer sees the same man with the penguin. Haven't I told you to take it to the zoo? I did, officer. Today I'm taking it to the movies. Ops. The parish priest needs his house painted, so he offers the job to one of his altar boys. The first day the kid paints the entire inside of the house, he's sweating like hell but eventually gets it finished. The priest commands him on the work and with a flourish, hands him a five pounds note. The boy looks at the money and says to the priest, Thanks very much, father you're a virgin. The priest is a bit startled but makes no remark. The next day, the boy has to paint the outside of the house. It's a really hot day, and he just manages to finish the job without collapsing. The priest looks at the job, and this time he gives the lad another five pounds note. Once again, the lad looks at the money and says, Thanks very much, father. You really are a virgin. At this stage, the priest decides to take action. Tommy, he says, that's twice you've called me a virgin. Do you have any idea what the word means? Yes, says the kid, a tight cunt. Ops. <coughs> a married man went into the confessional and admitted to his priest, Forgive me, father, for I almost had an affair with another woman. The priest asks, What do you mean by almost? The man tells him, Well, we were naked in bed and rubbing together a little bit but didn't actually... You know, put it in. The priest replies, rubbing together is the same as putting it in. You should never see that woman again. For your penance, say five Hail Marys and put fifty dollars in the offering box. The man left the confessional, said his prayers, and then walked over to the offering box. He paused for a moment and then started to walk away. The priest, who was watching, quickly runs over and tells him, I saw that. You didn't put any money in the offering box. The man says, yeah, but I rubbed the $50 on the box, and according to you, that's the same as putting it in. Ops. <coughs> A man, his wife, and his mother-in-law went on vacation to the Holy Land. While they were there, the mother-in-law passed away. The undertaker told them you can have her shipped home for $5,000 or you can bury her here in the Holy Land for $150. The man thought about it and told him he'd just have her shipped home. The undertaker asked, why would you spend $5,000 to ship your mother-in-law home when it would be wonderful to have her buried here and spend only $150? The man replied, a man died here 2,000 years ago. He was buried here. Three days later, he rose from the dead. I just can't take that chance. Oops. <coughs> An elderly couple was sitting in their broken down car on the side of the road, waiting for a tow truck. The tow truck arrives, and the driver walks up to the car as the old man who was driving rolls down his window. Driver, hello folks. What seems to be the problem? Elder lady, what? Elder man, 
Sorry, my wife is hard of hearing. Then he looks at his wife and yells out he asked what the problem was. Elder lady, I think we ran out of gas. Driver, no problem. I can tow you to the nearest gas station. It's only about five miles away. Elder lady, what? He said he'd take us to the next gas station. Elder lady, okay. Thank you. As the driver was hooking up the car to the tow truck, he decided to have a conversation. Driver, so where are you folks from? Elder lady, what? Elder man, he asked where we're from. Elder lady, Birmingham, Alabama. Driver, Birmingham. I lived there many, many years ago. I met a woman who was probably the worst fuck of my life. Elder lady, what? Elder man, he said he thought he knew you. Ops. <coughs> a pair of blonde Swedish models are doing a photo shoot when the photographer tells them to hold still. Why? Asks one of the models to the other. Because he wants to focus, says the other. Confused, the first one looks at the photographer and says, Okay, but we finish the photo shoot first. Yeah. yeah. An attractive blonde woman had her car break down on the side of a remote highway late one night. A tow truck passes by and stops to give some assistance. The woman tells the tow truck driver, Thank you so much for stopping. My phone is dead, and I'm stranded. I'll do anything for some help. The driver replies, No problem at all, ma'am. I'm happy to help. The woman reiterates, I don't have any money on me, but I'll do anything you'd like. Just please help me get back home. The driver tells her, just sit right there in the car, and I'll get you taken care of. He begins hooking up the car to his tow truck. A few minutes later, the driver walks back to the woman in the car and asks, So little lady, have you ever been towed before? The woman says, No, but I have been fingered a few times. Ops, oh no. Thank you for watching the whole thing. I put a lot of effort into making these jokes, so please subscribe to me and stay happy in your life.